Hey, back with another video. And, uh... I watched some, like, uh... Like, hell stories of people who have, like, been to hell. So scary. Like... Uh, it's pretty, uh... Messed up and, uh... Terrifying and stuff. But, uh... As long as uh, God is happy with us, you know, that's the most important thing. And uh, I'm basically, once I, I guess, I don't know if I need to do any printing or not, but I'm basically going to be putting up a, uh, a sign somewhere in like a high visibility area for cars where like other people have put up signs for whatever they wanted. And it's going to be like this... Uh, this um, poster I got in the mail that says, uh, will you go to hell? And it's like all in like red because it's like the front of a magazine for like a subscription for like a Christian magazine. I'm going to put that, I'm going to tape that, like uh, tape it up really well. So it's like covered um, in like uh, professional high quality uh, tape. So that uh, everyone driving by gets that message. Because I think it's one thing for people to see that message online. Except if they're driving in real life and they see it. It really, it's a, it's a lot harder of a message, you know. And, uh, you know, I'll see how long it lasts. I don't know. Except uh, if every single person who knew that truth that hell is a real place if everyone was putting up like um taping up posters and stuff places where cars go by like it would wake up a lot of people that it's like you know somebody else um who knows that actually went through the effort of like going there and taping it up rather than just uh like non non-physical related tasks because if you actually think that that's a risk which it is it's a risk for everybody that everyone needs to take into full account then you know you should like uh put forth some action and like make a poster or print print something up and put it up but yeah that's what i'm planning on doing one of these days yeah. Um, one of the, like, one of the paranormal things that happened to me, like, I guess this was, like, maybe, like, two months ago, was, uh, I was in my room, and, like, I'm, I was talking to my brother about, uh, tares and wheats you know and uh and I'm just sitting on a couch in the room and uh the second I mentioned tares and wheats the door slammed shut to the room and uh it wasn't like the uh heating turning on which like sometimes could have like a airflow pull that could like pull the door shut it wasn't that because um when that does happen, like, the door may be able to have, like, the, the suction to shut or close, except it'll kind of, like, it'll barely close, and then it'll, like, kind of rattle a bit, because the air of the whole room is kind of sucked it closed, um, whereas this was actually distinctly different, because when it pulled shut, it was one, it was, like, an immediate pulling it wasn't like it started slow and then got got up the the like power to close it pulled immediately and then it pulled by the door handle and then like like how you'd end the pull like with a hard shut and there wasn't a rattle of the whole door so it's not like it was an air thing also the air didn't turn on but yeah it just goes to show that you know uh spiritual warfare is real um 
one channel that I like their testimony is Tsunami Dream on YouTube. And he has a testimony that I um, watched like a year ago. And it kind of gave me the idea to put myself on YouTube originally. And he's had spiritual warfare. And, uh, you know, I, I see how spiritual warfare could be bothersome to a lot of people. Except, like, I've had a lot of it myself. Like, you know, something standing at the end of my bed and then I hear it, uh... I hear it, like, uh, skid away with, like, what sounded like hooves on my carpet at the end of my bed. Like, I've had lots of stuff, lots of knocks on my walls and stuff. And, you know, with releasing these videos, I was, I heard the most knocks all around me and, like, different noises on my walls. But, uh... You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's never escalated to anything physical, so... You know, as worried as I might have been the first couple times anything happened, literally, at a certain point, if nothing's happened, then it doesn't really matter anymore, you know? Like, I don't really think they can do anything. I think it's all just a fear tactic that a lot of people buy into, like, oh, it's it, this is just a warning. It could get worse. It could get worse. Well, demons have no incentive not to try to hurt you as much as they can, so it kind of... Um, shows the bluff that they would if they could, but apparently they can't really cause true harm to you. So, you know, there's nothing really to be worried about, you know? But yeah. All right, I'll leave that there, and uh, see you next time.